Hef. Yellow leaves, brown leaves, oh my. It wouldn't be a plant parent journey if it wasn't for those plant parent struggles. But darling, I got you. This is In The Know Plant Week. Christopher here, AKA Plant Queen. We have some amazing tools that is gonna help your plant fam stay thriving, lush, and healthy. So, let's start with some shears. And these are actually from William Sonoma. I'm gonna bring over Miss Marble Queen Pothos that my homegirl at the Phil sent over to me. And so, occasionally what I'll do is I'll just peruse the foliage of my green girls just to see how her leaves are doing. An important thing to note is that leaves that are struggling, right, whether they're yellowing or browning, are also just more prone to pests. And so sometimes it's just important to snip those leaves off before they're infested, okay? So I'm gonna go and be careful so that I don't wanna damage any of her other leaves. And we're just gonna give her a little snip. Look at that, so easy. Next, we are gonna focus on a little self-watering pot, darling. This is from West Elm, and the way that it works is basically you're pouring water into this little indention right here, okay? And basically, you're letting the plant decide how much water she needs, right? So you're bottom watering the plant, and it's a safe way to make sure that you're not overwatering or underwatering that particular plant. Next, since we're on the topic of water, because all our green girls need that delicious H2O, okay? But giving them too much H2O can lead to root rot, which leads to your green girl going to that little botanical garden in the sky, and we just ain't here for none of that business, okay? My homegirl that the Phil sent over some amazing lava rocks, all right? And so, these amazing rocks are just really, really helpful for any planters or pots that you find that do not have a drainage hole. The lava rocks are just basically something that you'll put at the bottom of the pot to make sure that you're raising the root and the soil above any extra water that may reside at the bottom of that pot, all right? Next, because plants are not furniture, they're living, breathing creatures, okay? We wanna make sure that they're not collecting any dust, okay? Get yourself some little plant cloths. These are from amazon.com. Just put it in your cart and it'll be to you in a couple days, honey. When I'm perusing my little indoor jungle, I like to take a look at the leaves and make sure that there's not any dust collecting on her leaves. So, what I'll typically do, I'll take my little plant cloth and gently wipe the leaves. All right, darling, now we're gonna move over to a little sultry scene, okay? And so, every plant parent should invest in a little humidifier, all right? I'm just gonna turn her on. My homegirls at West Elm sent this over to me, and this is absolutely divine, darling. You wanna make sure that you invest in a good humidifier so that you're mimicking the natural habitats of your green girl so that they can grow, they can thrive, and they can serve those lush looks. Okay, honey? Because we are not here for any of those tragic pests that may collect on those leaves. We have some neem oil that my girls at the Sill sent over to me. And so neem oil is a natural pesticide, which means it's great for the environment. This is a highly concentrated neem oil, and so I've diluted her in liquid soap and warm water. Typically what I'll do, I'm looking to see if there's any pest collecting on her leaf. I'm gonna take our little plant claw, all right? I'm gonna take the leaf, and I'm just gonna wipe off any mature pest that I see collecting on the leaf, all right? You just wanna make sure that you're really getting in there. I'm gonna take my neem oil concoction, and I'm just gonna spray the leaf, right? The next thing, if you are lucky enough to have a little outdoor situation, you may wanna invest in a cute little plant shed cover. And so my homegirls at West Elm sent this to me and it is absolutely divine. It is a wonderful way to just create a little plant look outside, protect your green girls from those outdoor elements. So darling, you have a bunch of tools handy and available for you to make sure your green girls are healthy, growing, and thriving. Honey, this is In The Know Plant Week. Homegirl Christopher, AKA Plant Queen. I'll see you next time, honey. Oof, there we go. Start over. <laughs>